There is not a single company, there is not a single industry, there is not a single organization that does not have its own jargon. So part of the issue here is that every group has its own language. And the research that I was doing because of the books that I've written and the apps that I've got, which are ExecuSpeak Dictionary, is I started learning about something that linguists refer to as a discourse community. Now generally, when you hear about a discourse community, you're usually in a group of academics. And we're all bored. And they're not talking to anybody in business. I can tell you that right away. And the other thing that I had also noticed as a business person, as a kid who went to Wharton, all right, is that I would be reading these articles in Forbes and the Wall Street Journal and it would be saying something on the order of 10 words you should never use. Or, uh, you know, business lingo is out to exclude us. And I would think about that and then they would throw out terms like paradigm shift or as a score counselor, my favorite was the engineer, and I said, so you think that net income and gross income are jargon? And the engineer said, yes. I said, you realize that those are really precise terms. We're not trying to confuse you. They, they have meaning, but not to them. And so I realized that part of what was going on in the world of journalists and the people who are reporting on business is they were talking about the vocabulary of business as though it was to exclude. But it's not there to exclude. So I see this article. This is one of those things that Atlantic Magazine did recently where they were saying, okay, so this group uses these buzzwords and that group uses those buzzwords. And they've actually got the, the real image goes down to here because it was like really long and narrow with a whole lot of different groups. And they were just, you know, playing around with the lingo. And I realized and I learned as I was following up on a couple of different articles that this concept of language in business being used to exclude or to define rank, or to determine who was in the in crowd, was actually foisted upon us by a group of MIT sociologists who during World War I or II or something were looking around and poking around in business. And they said, oh well, you can tell who's who and you can figure out rank by the language that they use. Oh my God. What a disservice they have done to us, even here in the 21st century. Because what it is, is each one of these groups is actually a discourse community. And the definition of a discourse community from those academics that have a two-page definition of linguists, two pages, a group of people who are working together and have a verbal shorthand because they are trying to get something done. That just sounds like a workplace. That doesn't sound like people trying to exclude and include, and it doesn't sound like rank. It sounds like a workplace.